recently set up a meditation altar. This is something that I mentioned in my article, Meditation Tips for a Lifetime of Practice. Mm, I think for me, altars were something that was a little bit mm, off-putting when I saw them at first. I was like, what is this? Why do people have these? And then when I actually tried having an altar, putting something that was significant to me in a place that I saw regularly, um, I saw, oh yeah, this is really powerful to remind yourself why you're practicing. And so um, ever since I had that shift, I've been a big fan of having an altar. And recently I got to set up an altar for myself that's just my own. And, um, you know, it's just laid out exactly the way that I like it with only the things that um, are mine on it. Um, previously, I'd been at the Monastic Academy and um, the altars there, usually people share and lots of different people put things on there, which is really nice. It's nice to see what inspires other people, but there's also really something nice about just having your own altar with just your things on it. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a tour of part of my altar for you. So this is uh, a corner of my bedroom and there's a view outside to a highway, but also some trees. And then um, a picture of my family, family and also a piece of art that my friend Jeff made. And there's actually two altars here. Uh, they're both bookshelves, but I'm just gonna show you the left one because on the right there's pictures of some friends and family members and I'm not sure how they'd feel about me showing you that, so I'm just gonna show you the one on the left. So um, the first shelf has a picture of the Buddha in the middle. It's a print that I found recently that's really nice. And um, all of these are uh, photographs that I had printed at a local convenience store. So it's a pretty cheap and affordable way to have pretty beautiful images. Um, this is a picture of a statue of Jizo Bosatsu, or Chittagarbha Bodhisattva, and a print as well of Guanyin, or Avalokiteshvara. Um, that's a half of a wand that a friend made me, and just a piece of, piece of driftwood uh, from a beach that I went to last year. And then these are some of the teachers that have inspired me. Um, so there's my main teacher. So are you a, a picture of him when he was younger. Um, and a picture of his teacher, Harada Roshi, being extremely smiley. And there's a picture of Shinzen and Rob Rebea and Peace Pilgrim who I love, as well as a print from Doré of uh, <clears throat> Don Quixote and Sancho Panza. Don Quixote has been a big inspiration for me, so have him on there. And also some um, different objects that have some meaning to me. Um, a medal from a race that I won and some uh, acorns that have wood paintings on them that a friend gave me. And um, also have some, uh, an incense holder that that same friend made for me. Um, I don't really get to burn incense here, but I hope to in the future at a different place. And it's also just nice to have there. Uh, and as I say in the shelves above this, there's pictures of my friends and family members uh, just to remind me of people that I love. 